everyone welcome once again to investing with the difference so we are back with our uh, weekly updates so, if, so we are not very regular as you can see that i'm trying to find time and there's a lot more happening uh, these days in both the overall crypto market especially bitcoin uh, rally and of course the eos is as active as it has always been and it's only going uh, crazier and crazier the way I see in the, on the governance side on the development side so we'll try to cover as, as much as we can and we will try to bring you these updates um, so first of all I did a video earlier today about this scam so be careful out there do watch this video that uh, some people are trying to again uh, steal your tokens uh, using Rex as an excuse and I, I'm sure most of you who have been following our channel you are very well aware of how Rex works so this should not be a problem but do spread the message of uh, people who are new and are still learning how to uh, use Rex and what it means. Um, the second part I wanted to highlight is uh, we have been talking about a reversal I think almost a month back when we were crossing those uh, $4,000, $5,000 area on Bitcoin and uh, we were showing you how this is uh, really turning out to be the start of bull market. Uh, in a one sense I think uh, it's already a pretty strong bull market because we have gone um, more than 150 uh, percent on Bitcoin and uh, we did talk about it uh, three weeks ago how the arts the EOS was not looking good because we focus on Bitcoin and EOS in this uh, series uh, we did talk about why EOS is not looking good and uh, we are going to look at, have a quick look at the chart and finally I think uh, as we have seen it has been an amazing run so let me just close these ads uh, so that we can focus on the chart so okay so this is uh, let me delete that okay so this is uh, the Bitcoin chart and this looks like exponential rise of course it's a very very crazy move uh, definitely we were expecting this market to go up uh, as we had broken out and we have been talking quite a few times about how this uh, is looking like a very very strong indication for a bull but we never expected it to be so fast and this can happen in uh, Bitcoin market as you know if you go back uh, to 2017 we did see this uh, this was also a very very fast rise and uh, this is why we talked about the whole idea that uh, because people are so bearish uh, the FOMO can set in very fast and that's what happened when we crossed the $6,000 area you see the rise from 6000 to 8000 it did not take uh, more than like a few hours and uh, the, either good news or you can say bad news is that uh, the good news is we are clearly in a bull market but uh, the bad news is that this bull market is still strong even if we go take a dip all the way to 6000 and continue uh, so it can and definitely it looks like uh, there is a big chance now that we do correct because it has been a very exponential run or the other option is we consolidate in this uh, area uh, and this this is what I'm seeing right now if I go and look at uh, maybe hourly charts or maybe a two hour chart you will see that uh, after these exponential run we did consolidate a bit here uh, but we did not fall much even after we had a huge run and we continue going up and we are again consolidating right now today morning and uh, as I said the w we have a very very strong uh, momentum right now but remember be careful if you're trading if you are holding for long term i think uh, this is a great sign because we have definitely established clear bull run we def do need now the good news is even this 200 day moving average has turned which is huge i think uh, this is the first time we are seeing that the 200 day moving average has uh, uh, started growing and this will only give us better and better support as we go along now let's look at the eos chart uh, against Bitcoin of course as you know that yesterday we had a six dollar mark which was broken on uh, EOS and uh, it looks like this is now taking the coinbase I don't know why it's taking coinbase let me see if I have a better chart um, in the meantime maybe we can say EOS USD again it's taking coinbase so trading you has changed I think it used to be Bitfinex I don't know why I'm not able to get that EOS BTC on Bitfinex anymore but as I told you we did cover about uh, that uh, earlier and uh, we had seen that uh, how EOS has underperformed so let's look at uh, maybe coin market cap so I think we did cross six dollars but overall if you look at uh, I think we are somewhere around 
7400 or 7500 sorry 74000 satoshi as the price which has been pretty much i think i would say 25 percent down from recent highs eos had made against bitcoin so it it has been tough for altcoins this is what happens so the biggest thing to notice on coin market cap is that uh, this uh, btc dominance i've been highlighting that uh, this is usually what happens when the bull market starts um, because uh, most of the new money or the big money or you can call institutional money will invest in bitcoin that's a brand i do see a lot of people debating all the time because it's a pretty much divided community we talk about bitcoin cash we talk about bitcoin sv uh, which is kind of becoming a joke i think there are a lot more follower of bitcoin cash uh, than bitcoin sv so let's go back to bitcoin and bitcoin cash debate i am not the one who would indulge in that um, I know that there are always uh, ways of saying which one is better but remember Bitcoin is the brand this is where most of the institutional money will come and that's what markets have decided the exchanges have decided uh, ever since 2017 fork so this is uh, what matters so I talk about that because that represents the market and that's what is this uh, Bitcoin dominance we are talking about so either way i think as i said we are uh, i think just now while i did not refresh this page we have fallen a little bit but overall we are very close to eight thousand dollar mark if we stay above seven thousand five hundred i think it's we are continuing to see uh, a strong bull but even if we go and drop down to six thousand as i said we are still in a very very positive uptrend so i'm not too worried but uh, yeah i'm not trading i'm just holding whatever i have same thing for EOS I think uh, depending on how it consolidates if it can manage to stay above 7500 I'm expecting altcoins to rally and that's where EOS can make a move but if we try to take support below uh, and somewhere in the $6,000 area again that's when I think alts can get uh, really battered again and then we will have to look for bottom around uh, same area of $5 or $4.75 so this is the situation I think overall on the market but fundamentally there is so much happening even on the bitcoin so let's say we talk about this news of uh, uh, become like major retailers are now able to accept bitcoin of course they are not endorsing bitcoin so remember this news is spinned in such a way that uh, people think that all these uh, all these retailers are endorsing uh, the what has happened is uh, this flexa which is a service which is converting bitcoin or cryptocurrencies into a kind of a digital payment method for example integrating with apple pay or so on so gemini which is uh, the exchange um, uh, has uh, set up this uh, partnership where now you can use this flexa um, uh, uh, payment option just like paypal and so on this flexa is basically enabling paying with cryptocurrency um, to the retailer you will just use the standard uh, payment option like uh, apple pay or your uh, google pay and so on but uh, in the background flexa will help you spend you your cryptos which are held in gemini as an exchange so these are like some very very powerful tools which community is bringing and the, this is going to make a crypto adoption um, really mainstream so it's a big news we have also talked about previously if you're on our facebook and uh, uh, channels and uh, some other twitter channels we have been also talked about how uh, now the fidelity e-trade uh, and td ameritrade all these big big uh, uh, houses financial houses who are managing trillions of dollars of stock market money pension funds and so on they are launching bitcoin products very soon so there are strong fundamentals a uh, lot of people on youtube are talking about oh i don't know why this rally is going on there are no fundamentals people are mistaking this as a pump there are fundamentals there have always been fundamentals for last one year even during the bear market the fundamentals for the bitcoin for the crypto is getting stronger and stronger so i have no doubt about the fundamentals the question is uh, are we getting there yet of course the technicals the market sentiment does not look at the fundamentals all the time so, but let me tell you that uh, it is not a coincidence that in next few weeks we are going to see big pension funds big uh, investment funds launching products where anyway you can buy bitcoin maybe in your retirement funds maybe in your uh, uh, long-term saving funds and even if there's a small portion of allocation of this money into bitcoin you will see bitcoin dominance go much higher i do not expect many of these other projects getting that kind of investment what bitcoin will get because this is the store of value and people are mainly looking at it as a as a hedge against gold and other commodities 
uh, while we all who are more involved in blockchain we do see value of how EOS or Ethereum or any other smart contract platform can change businesses. I think uh, for asset managers, Bitcoin is just a speculation tool where they can make more money than gold. And even a small allocation of that money will make huge, huge impact. Now, coming back to EOS, what's going on, I would say some big stuff has happened. Again, I always go back to the approvals, which is block producers approving changes. As you know, we talked about uh, the, the funds savings funds were retired there's a lot of discussion happening now on stopping the inflation altogether so there's a new proposal which is remove saving which is uh, targeted to stop this uh, inflation and reducing it permanently to one percent which is bp pay so a lot of debate going on on that there have been some new proposals uh, from uh, eos new york about uh, how to reward voters and uh, try to create incentives to bring more voters into the system uh, while I kind of agree with this uh, in principle and we do want more voter, uh, voters to get more and more rewards so that we can have participation we, we just don't want this to be used by exchanges to corner more and more funds for example if uh, we don't define a good model where these rewards are only given to people who are directly voting and not make it easy for exchanges to say deposit the tokens with us and we will pass on these uh, these funds and uh, they should not be able to control the block producers uh, already we are seeing that uh, with rex a lot of people try to use their proxies um, as a way like you know they forced you in their tools to use a certain proxy and they are misusing those votes so remember all these things are only going to make eos strong in long term and make uh, value if they are implemented in the right way. So we are still debating and discussing with EOS New York about uh, this particular proposal. I don't think it's completely ready. It's just an idea. Uh, but I think this is a great uh, direction to be taken. Um, another big thing which happened is lost key solution. So if you had uh, been one of those accounts who uh, lost your registration during the mainnet launch from Ethereum to EOS and you cannot find your keys, now there's an automated way to get that lost key uh, recovered using a cryptographic proof of uh, your ethereum account it is not going to be a manual process so no bps are going to issue you a key or something it's a very very solid cryptographic proof and cypherglass uh, recently did uh, rob has done a very good video on this do watch it i will post the link here on how to do this and why it is a great solution and uh, this is going to enable all those people who had unfortunately stored their key at a wrong place and they could not recover it. So now these kind of things now are really very strong and really moving very fast ever since the uh, uh, user agreement was passed. We are seeing more and more people uh, in taking part, part in uh, the new proposals on the chain around inflation, around governance, uh, new ideas coming around how to fund uh, some of these proposals and I see that uh, activity is amazing. Now, of course, uh, there's a lot more going on in, t in the world of development and we have been talking about that in previous uh, videos. So we will talk about more uh, in of these uh, projects in future videos, but today let's uh, call it quits for here because uh, I don't want it to be too long a video and we, we wanted to focus on the biggest news of today, that is uh, how the market is really moving uh, in a positive direction and what can you expect and how from the EOS perspective while we expected altcoins to go down I think we are happy that we are in the dollar terms we are we were we are breaking above some key levels like six dollar mark we broke yesterday and uh, this can be a very if, if we keep consolidating here on Bitcoin we can definitely see a better times for solid projects i can't say about others but i would say that some of the projects which are very very positive uh, they are uh, uh, like eos uh, we are definitely positive about and they are there is real usage uh, also the june 1st i think a lot of people are waiting for so we, i will be there a lot of p friends are there and do contact us if you are interested in meeting or uh, um, discussing how we can take EOS forward. Uh, we are going to be having uh, uh, like at least on the weekend or even on the Friday uh, on around June 1st we will be there in DC and after that we have a BP summit in San Francisco uh, on June 6th so if you are coming there do drop us a line and uh, we will definitely be there will be opportunity to meet up in San Francisco on June 6th. So 
a lot of stuff happening on EOS. We are completing one year. We will cover more of these as uh, the rest of the month progresses and we reach that one year anniversary. So do watch out for that and be safe. Again, a reminder, be safe out there and uh, learn how this EOS system is evolving and be safe in terms of trading. Do not get super excited and uh, look for uh, uh, short term gains in overall crypto market. What I can promise you is that the, this whole bear market which we saw last year uh, this has made the community very, very strong. And I see that uh, there's a lot of real development happening irrespective of the price movement. So price automatically follows once we have all this development, uh, which is definitely happening in both Bitcoin world as well as uh, in the EOS world. Thank you once again for joining. And uh, we will be back with more and more content. And we we will we like you if you share these videos or you press like or notification buttons that makes it easy for people to find when you press like uh, so do uh, press like and uh, do subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel and we'll be back uh, very soon thank you bye bye